Good morning, Sugarloaf, Carabasset Valley, and all you skiers and riders out there. Hope you're ready for a great holiday week here at the mountain. You can find this and much more at WSKITV.com, and this weather update is brought to you by 45 North in the Sugarloaf Mountain Hotel. Well, for the day today, we'll see a chance of some morning flurries and then partly mostly cloudy skies throughout the day, so you want to grab those goggles that show some definition in the uh, in the snow out there. Also, we've got groomers out there uh, working hard to get stuff uh, all groomed up for you as uh, conditions weren't very favorable for grooming uh, overnight last night. So they're out there first thing this morning. But we will see temperatures today topping out in the upper 20s uh, down at the base and the upper teens down here at the summit with a barely noticeable wind out there. Snow tapering in the afternoon for Monday. Snow should start uh, Sunday night uh, anytime after 1 a.m. And we could see anywhere from 6 to 10 inches of accumulation. So that is some great news heading into the busy week. Tuesday, flurries, mostly cloudy skies, temperatures uh, quite cool out there, uh, and that will continue Wednesday through Thursday with those cold temperatures. But remember, the local ski shops around here have some great cold weather gear, whether it's down in Kingfield at FIS Sports, uh, in the valley at Happy Tunes, or right up here on the hill at the Downhill Supply Company. Bertrand Interiors brings you this trail report. About five inches of new snow uh, throughout the day yesterday. 72 trails to ski and ride on, nine lifts getting to those runs 21 trails were on the grooming list, and as I said, that may change because of the variable conditions overnight for grooming. Uh, they hope to get out to Tote Road, uh, Upper Double Bitter, King's Landing, Hayburner, Narrow Gauge, Competition Hill, Spillway and Sluice, as well as Lower Winters Way, Candyside, Ram Down, and um, lots of trails down here around the base area as well. So uh, stay tuned to the Mountain Report. We'll keep you updated. Captain Kip is out there with his live reports. So we'll tell you exactly what conditions are like out on the hill and what they did and did not get to. Uh, lifts this morning, 8.30 a.m. We've got Double Runner Chair, Super Quad, Skyline, Wiffle Tree, as well as King Pine. Go over there and check out that... Uh, east side of the mountain that just opened up yesterday lots of natural terrain but we'll get a call into ski patrol and find out what's going on over there as well all the trails or all the lifts around the base area are scheduled to get going eight o'clock snubber will get you up to the base lodge sawduster and skidway will move you around the base area at 8 30 down at the outdoor center they've got about 25 kilometers groomed down there about 15k of snowshoeing uh, as soon as the ice rink is cleared off they should open that back up and all the retail services are available down there as well as the bull moose bakery and cafe for some great eats if you're making plans for uh christmas eve and christmas if you're looking for uh some great dinners go down to 45 north in the sherloaf mountain hotel uh, they've got their christmas eve dinner from five to eight as well as christmas dinner on christmas day from four to eight and they do recommend reservations next week starts off a great sale at birchwood interiors right in village west 10 percent off norwalk furniture uh, they've got some great stuff to spruce up your home camp or condo and you can always find out more at birchwoodinteriors.com also, want to let you know, WSKITV.com, that's where you'll find our live quad cam uh, where you can see exactly what's happening at the base of the mountain uh, as far as weather. We've got some great time-lapse images in there. You can see weather systems coming in and out of the area as well as the groomers up on the hill at night. But it's a great way to see exactly what the uh, weather is doing here at the bottom of the mountain in real time. And we've also got some great videos on WSKITV.com so you can stay another day in uh find out things to do in the area. We're also on social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram is where you'll find us, as well as our website, WSKITV.com. So be sure to bookmark that and check it frequently so you can be in the know here in the Sugarloaf region. And we want to let you know to have a great holiday week, folks.